Roots Tobacco. I got me a new tobacco pipe. I'm making eggnog. Who's better than me? Good luck finding somebody. Welcome to another episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. Today, poured myself a glass of whiskey as I hope that it fuels my blood and brain to the path of most delicious resistance. And I'm making eggnog. The jury's still out on eggnog. Is eggnog dog shit and I just don't get it? Is eggnog delicious? Like, what is it? I don't want to go buy it, I want to make it. So that's what we're doing, all right? We're gonna need about a cup of sugar. I think I said maybe a half a cup, so. Let's go with three-fourths a cup. I've never made this shit, so I do not know what to expect. Get your whisk out. Stay ready and focus for the whisk, all right? I find I'm a better whisker if I'm drinking whiskey. You see what I did there? First things first, eggs. We're just getting rid of the egg white. All we want is that yolk. It's pretty wild that this is like the juice of life. It's like people can't figure out what came first. The thing that made this thing come out of his butt or this thing. Like that's wild that this is what this is. Fucking eggs, no one knows how they got here. Now if you drink Michelob Ultra and shit, you're kind of healthy. Maybe you want to keep the egg whites. You know, maybe get a little omelet. Let's go ahead and get the whiskey. Get a sip of whiskey first, then whisk away. All right, we go with the sugar. Look at that, slowly going as we whisk. I mean, this shit's just milk and sugar and eggs and, whis and whiskey or Kodiak. The only reason an eggnog exists is because this is all they had, okay? They had milk and eggs and sugar. What else are you gonna mix with the whiskey? You gotta do something. They just figured this shit out. They just kind of stuck around. It's a shit ton of sugar. Whisk away, homeboy. Jesus, I thought I called it for backup. I gotta do everything on this show? Dude, I mean, it's a lot of whiskey. Thanks, Bruce. All right, turn your sauce pan on medium heat. All right, two cups of whole milk coming in. One cup of heavy cream. Hit them with a the nutmeg, nutmeg. All right, it's probably too much. A little vanilla extract. Get that all mixed up there. Let that come to a simmer. This is all these people had, man. Pretty much the only reason you're gonna make eggnog at your house for your family is just so that every time someone drinks it while you're drinking it, you can say, yeah, no, I made it. No, it wasn't that, it wasn't that hard. And then they're gonna lie whether they like it or not, unless you're like a family that doesn't do that. And you just let each other know the truth, like, yo, this is dog shit. I'm gonna drink it, because I poured it, but it's absolutely trash. All right, let's get our milk and slowly pour it in here. I think the purpose is so you don't cook the egg, right? That's why you gotta do it slowly like this. I mean, this is just a bunch of whiskey, really. This shit's easy. All you gotta do is go get the cinnamon sticks, look like you know what you're doing. Man, this might make my lazy eye go straight. I am focused. All right, so when it comes to the alcohol portion of eggnog, you can go a few different ways. You know, you can go spice rum, rum, cognac, you can go bourbon, you can mix all of them together. I figured that usually if uh, whenever I drink cognac, shit gets hot real quick. So I figured, why not? Let's step it up, you know what I mean? Two cups. Let's, let's not shortchange ourselves on this recipe. We still got some more milk to shit the whisk in, but we're gonna go ahead and start whisking this in too. Damn! All right, more milk. More of that yak. <laughs> Hit him with the yak. And then that last bit you want to just take to the kind of take to the face. This is where you want to let that Kodiak kind of just kind of go down your throat and start to really just take over your body. Maybe get a little bit of a uh, fresh cinnamon in there. Hit him with the fresh cinnamon. Out here, balls deep in fresh town. Fresh ingredients, homemade eggnog. Your unstoppable force. But don't be doing this shit like June. That's kind of a psychopath move to offer people eggnog in July, my man. Let's go back to our pan over here. All right, we're just gonna let that come to a little bit of a simmer. All right, then get some cool jars or some shit. The jars are mandatory. I mean, what do you do for if you're not gonna put it in some kind of cute ass mason jar? Look at that. Boom. Maybe a little dash of some uh, nutmeg. Boom, batter. <laughs> That's it. I made my own eggnog, man. Coming in hot with a little bit of cinnamon. Fresh off the stick. Is this shit good or not? Like, what is it? What's going on? It's strong, it's delicious though. But only in like January, late December. It's gonna be a hell of a family vacation this Christmas. Hey guys, that's all I got for this episode. Hope you have a great Christmas. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> see you guys in the 2020. 2020! See you guys next episode. $20 chef. <laughs>